it is cruise day, well, at least ship tour day, I am heading down to Galveston to go on to the Allure of the Seas. Um, we probably won't get to visit the uh, state rooms because of COVID restrictions and stuff. They're not allowing extra people in the rooms, um, but I will get to tour the ship, uh, have lunch on board, and uh, I'm gonna bring you along with me. So uh, let's go and see what we can see. See you then. So this is the Solarity Mart. This is the deck 16 area. We use a lot for private parties. Because it can be separate. But our beverage packages work on day one. Okay? What you'll see is actually... I know our competition doesn't allow beverage packages until day two. Uh, we pay the tax, we serve the tax liquor in order to uh, allow that, okay? And then down here, we've actually got the Solarium Bistro in Samba Grill. It's a Brazilian steakhouse. This is your interior view of the um, inside of the ship. We're on deck 15. And, I get, and this get, pool is four foot deep.
Wipeout Cafe. Local Fresh. Sports deck with a zip line. There are so many pools on this deck. Deck 14. <laughs> All right. Y'all can see the sun? No. All right. No. So, um, this, uh, the Oasis class ships are actually set up into quadrants. And what you'll actually be able to see about this is each quadrant is designated a different color. So right now, we are actually in the reddish, pinkish, coral quadrant. And then we got the blue, the yellow, and the green. So technically speaking, your clients, if you figure out what section they're in, that's kind of what they look for, and especially when it comes to signage and all. So you've got your Coral 14 here on the elevators. There's the Coral 14. The, uh -huh. uh, the, the signage on the outside, you'll see that coral color. And you'll actually see that between green and blue and yellow and coral. Uh, as a matter of fact, even when you make your way down the ship, you see the Wayfinder right here. That actually is that coral color. On the other side, you're gonna be seeing green. So in, huh. in, in, including the artwork in the, um, in the stairwells, you'll actually notice the changing of the colors depending on the stairwell. So it's, now we're gonna just go check out a little bit of adventure. Oh shit. I wanna die. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. So nothing is currently set up because, well, we are just boarding. But this is the oh, world of the Hey, welcome to both guys. How are you? Hey, at least you're on now. That's all of mine. Good. 
So a couple things about Adventure Ocean, guys. So it's obviously divided into several age groups. Uh, we also have some that are multiple uh, rooms that are used for multiple age groups, such as the Imagination Studio, the Science Lab. Uh, the Adventure Science, I basically would always tell guests, we do all the things with your kids that you don't want to do at home. Okay, we make the messes, we blow up the volcanoes, we do the science experiments. The kids are learning while being entertained, but they have no idea that they're actually learning. Uh, there's that, but going back here, we've got the Voyager room, that's 9 to 11. Back here is the Aquanauts, 3 to 5. Uh, explorers, in fact, past Explorers, yep. Oh, it's just buttons. Yeah, there we go. Uh, explorers is 6 to 8. Uh, come around, and then we're going to be going back the same way we came in. We also have the Adventure Ocean Theater, where they do, uh, they'll do talent shows. And, do we have fun shows? Yeah. This is the Adventure Ocean Theater where they have a yeah. show called Away We Go. It's this black light puppet show that is outstanding. <laughs> the staff do such a great job. We do like movies in here as well. So if parents are CD, depending on weather conditions as well, if they want to come in here and watch a movie, that's another themed activity which we do for all ages. They're on the office, not that far. Thank you. Wow, it's nice. It is nice. We do a black light puppet show called Away We Go and we also offer family movie time. So if parents or even at all ages they can come in here, enjoy a little bit of downtime watching uh, movies depending on the weather conditions. A lot for them to do. So we're going to go down to deck 8 and then we're going to cross Central Park into Dazzles. That's like dresses. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic for your groups. Uh, we do a lot of uh, private parties in here. We do uh, weddings in here. Uh, on a regular basis during the sea days, you know, we'll do regular activities. There will be dance classes. There will be uh, 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 live music. It's just, it's just a really no important, intimate setting. Very easy to be closed off. There's actually entrance up on deck nine as well as here on eight. Um, Capacity-wise, Try to keep the private parties under 200. Uh, another mention as we made uh, our way through Central Park, you notice that there's specialty restaurants that are out there. The Park Cafe was just about to open. That's where you get breakfast and lunch, uh, your, your fresh salads and sandwiches and, and soups and things like that. Uh, your specialty restaurants, the, the, the uh, trellis bar is a great spot at night. I always tell people that Central Park should be the final place you, walk, you always go through Central Park on your way back to your state room. It doesn't matter where you're at at night, it doesn't matter where your state room is, always walk through Central Park. Because if you go from the nightclub or a show or the casino and you go straight to your cabin, you are still have that ambiance in your head and in your mind and everything else. When you go through Central Park and you're essentially walking home at the end of the night, uh, of a night out, 
and you look up at the stars, it's tranquil. We even pipe in little sounds of crickets uh, in, the, in the central part. And it sort of, it kind of like mellows you out just a little bit. And that's my experience of just literally living on these ships. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's a great spot. So right now we're going to make our way down to deck six, and then we're going to head up to the boardwalk. Yay. And the boardwalk, it's going to get a little noisy, so I'm just going to say what I'm going to say now. Uh, but you're going to see this is an Atlantic City-inspired boardwalk, full carousel, hand-carved carousel. What I like about this ship in particular is as you're making your way out, you actually see these big blocks of, of wood, and you see the stages in which they start carving, uh, carving the, the, the horses. And then we're gonna make our way back. There is Johnny Rockets on the left, there's Sabor on, or, uh, on the right-hand side, and then back to the Aqua Theater, which is of course the iconic amphitheater at sea. Uh, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna make our way back around to the promenade. We got a lot more to see. <laughs> Just the progression of the carousel forces. If you have an Aqua Suite, this is where you're going to be. It's over here. And you, can look over. you can look over the Aqua Theater and watch your show from here. These are interior state rooms with a boardwalk view. So cute. Going down to deck five. The Cafe Promenade.
Bruno's for pizza. To the Amber Theater. All right, so the theater holds right about 1,500 people. Uh, obviously, tonight the Super Bowl is being aired. Eagles fans on this side to keep them away from the Chiefs oh, fans. Very, okay. very important. But uh, Super Bowl the and the ship is always yeah. a lot of fun. Uh, they'll probably they also have it out on the Aqua Theater screens as well as the on air club. So, uh, plenty of, of areas to watch the ship, uh, watch the Super Bowl and all. Um, we're going to go down one deck to deck three and check out the conference room because it's on this end. And then we'll go up past the ship and then down to lunch. Okay. Stay the same. No. Deck three. And then here's the conference room. The conference room. Going back up to deck four. Oh, the jazz club. Well, is this the nightclub? Now we're heading to the ice skating This is Studio B, everybody. This is a multi-functional room. I know everyone knows it as only this ice skating room. So first and foremost, we do have professional ice skaters who do the shows multiple times a week. Um, and did you know, a little trivia, we actually employ more professional ice skaters than any other entity in the world. No. So guess what, you got a lot of people who've been in the Olympics, and who, you know, they were, went through the whole competitive process from birth, just about, right, some of them. And so now they don't have to hang up their skates at 22 years old, they can come and actually skate for us. Um, so that's just something very important to know. So during, so we do have the ice skating shows in the evenings, um, certain days of the week on a seven night, so there, it does open up for where guests can actually ice skate as well. Oh, here comes the casino. There's the art gallery. Don't know about it. No, it's just one family. Yeah, two adults in the restaurant. And we're coming to the casino. Thank you.